Our body is made up of billions of cells. These cells use various proteins to help them perform vital functions, from processing nutrients and eliminating toxins, to regulating physiological reactions and defending the body against infection. Many diseases are caused by malfunctioning or missing proteins in the body. Advances in biotechnology have led to the ability to use living cells to produce proteins to treat some of these diseases. Genzyme uses long-established proven techniques to modify mammalian cells by equipping them with a piece of human DNA so they can produce therapeutic proteins. The proteins produced by the cells can be used as targeted treatments or to replace malfunctioning or missing proteins in the body, addressing serious, often life-threatening diseases. The modified cells are grown and carefully frozen in liquid nitrogen for future use. This collection of cells is called the cell bank. Compared to the highly automated manufacturing of chemical drugs, which takes just a few days, the production of therapeutic proteins is a complex and closely monitored process that lasts several weeks or even months. This process starts with the thawing of a vial of cells from the cell bank. The cells are mixed into a carefully prepared nutrient solution called the growth medium, which feeds the cells and lets them grow and reproduce. Each cell produces a tiny amount of the specific therapeutic protein. Over a period of weeks, the cells will multiply from several million to more than 30 billion. The production of medicines faces demanding safety and efficacy standards. Over the years, Genzyme has worked continually on the development of innovative technologies to produce reliable and effective therapies. Genzyme focuses on medical and technological areas where it can make a major positive impact on the lives of patients with serious diseases. Genzyme's therapeutic proteins provide treatment for thousands of patients around the world.
Mammalian Expression System Recombinant proteins expressed in mammalian cell commonly use plasmid transfection and viral vector infection. Stable cell line using plasmid transfection takes several weeks, or even months, while the virus vector can quickly infect cells within a few days. The temporal and spatial differences in protein expression, the expression system can be divided into transient, stable, and induced expression systems. Transient expression system refers at whole cell cultures without selection pressure, and exogenous vector gradually lost while cell division. The target protein expression time is short. The advantage of transient expression system is simple and short experimental period. Stable expression system means that the carrier DNA replicate and express long time stably in host cell. Due to the need of select resistance and pressure steps, stable expression is relatively time-consuming and laborious. The mammalian expression system has unique advantage in protein initiation signals, processing, secretion, and glycosylation, and is suitable for expressing intact macromolecules. The foreign protein produced by mammalian cells, which is closer to the native protein, has much more activity than proteins produced by prokaryotic expression system, or by other eukaryotic expression system, such as yeast and insect cells. The disadvantage of the technique is complicated, high requirement, low yield, and sometimes viral infections exist.